Hello, we're continuing with The Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate, and we are now on chapter two. Names read, by the way, maybe we've met. Oak tree near the elementary school, big but not too. Sweet shade in the summer, fine color in the fall. I am proud to say that I'm a northern red oak, also known as Quercus rubra. Red oaks are one of the most common trees in North America. In my neighborhood alone, hundreds upon hundreds of us are weaving our roots into the soil like knitters on a mission. I have rigid reddish gray bark, leathery leaves with pointed lobes, stubborn searching roots, and if I do say so myself, the best fall color on the street. Red doesn't begin to do me justice. Come October, I look like I'm ablaze. It's a miracle the fire department doesn't try to hose me down every autumn. You might be surprised to learn that all red oaks are named red. Likewise, all sugar maples are called sugar. All junipers are called juniper. And all boojum trees are called boojum. That's how it is in the tree world. We don't need names to tell one another apart. Imagine a classroom where every child is named Melvin. Imagine the poor teacher trying to take attendance each morning. It's a good thing trees don't go to school. Of course, there are exceptions to the name rule. Somewhere in Los Angeles, there's a palm tree who insists on being called karma, but you know how Californians can be. <laughs>